So if you've been following along so far, you know that we have um, taken a look at this data. We've created a function to download it. We've done some analysis, some visualizations, and we have some, uh, some interesting plot results. Now at this point, um, you have an analysis that you'd like to, um, like to save. And in the Jupyter Notebook, since things can be so nonlinear, you know, I can execute some code up here and then some code down here and then go back to this. It's important to make sure that your notebook um, is, uh, is linearized, it, that, it, that it all runs if someone were to pick it up and grab it. So usually what I do here is I do a quick restart and run all. And what that does is it um, restarts the kernel. It starts from the beginning and and um, runs the cells in order in the way that you have them. And if you um, if you're careful along the way, you when you restart and run all, it will actually um, re reproduce your analysis just the way it was before. If you've deleted cells or if you've done things out of order, then sometimes it takes a little bit of a um, little bit of manipulation to get it back to there. So um, it looks like our our analysis is uh, is working in the run all sense and we have a nice notebook so now the next thing that we want to do is I want to save this result so that no matter what happens um, I can I can recover it here and the way that I usually like to do that is uh, via the git version control system and in particular github um, there's some interesting tutorials on GitHub out there, but I'm going to assume you're familiar with Git and GitHub. Here, what I'm going to do is create a new repository. Um, I'm going to call it Jupyter uh, Workflow. And I'm going to say uh, Jupyter Workflow example. I'm going to make this public so anyone can see it. And I'm going to initialize it with a readme. And I'm going to add a Python git ignore. So this is this ignores temporary files associated with Python. And I'm going to add a license. I like going with the MIT license. Um, if you have questions about licenses, I'll, I'll share a link later to some uh, resources about that. And so I'm going to create the repository. So this gives me a basically a cloud-based backup for whatever I'm working on, where I can save the contents of what I've done and save, uh, save it in a way that I can recover. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's try reloading this. Okay, yeah. So I can save this and recover it from wherever wherever it was. So I'm going to take this download button here and copy that and go back and and uh, we need a terminal here. So if I if I look here, I have my Fremont data, I have my Jupyter workflow notebook. I'm going to um, clone this address that I copied from Git and. Um, I need my, my password, hopefully I get it correct. So now I've, I've cloned that and I have this Jupyter Workflow thing. So I'm going to move my Jupyter Workflow notebook into the Jupyter Workflow folder, change directories into, into there, and I can do git status and see that I have this new notebook here. So I'll git add this Jupyter notebook and commit um, add initial analysis notebook. And now, um, once I have that committed, I can do git push origin origin master, and um, and once it's all pushed, I should be able to go back here and um, reload this and see that I have my notebook there on GitHub, and GitHub will even go as far as as rendering the notebook for you. So what this means now is that I have a, a cloud-based version of this notebook, a cloud-based backup of this notebook and analysis on GitHub. And then locally, I have this, uh, this Git repository where I can track changes and do changes locally and also push those changes to the cloud. So this means that if I do something wrong and mess up my notebook, I can um, immediately recover a previous saved state of it here, so that's nice. And it also means that a copy of this is stored on GitHub. So if I, um, you know, accidentally leave my my computer at the bus stop or something like that, then um, I can recover all my work and I don't have to worry about my my anything happening to my laptop. So this is a this is the next step that I usually do when I'm doing some analysis. Once I have a result like this, I'll move it to GitHub either in a public or repository or private repository and from there I can continue working without without um, worrying about losing my previous data. 
So in the next section, we'll start um, taking a look at modifying this notebook a little bit and making it a little bit more reproducible and a little bit more user-friendly for someone who wants to come along and uh, repeat our analysis.